So now that's three flat batteries in one day. Unbelievable. GoPros are shit. Just don't buy one. And this mounting system is just trash. Trying to fuck around with this shit, falling apart, junk. For their durability, yeah, I'll give them that. But for being an actual camera of use, batteries, useless. I wanna to talk to you about this little guy. This is a genuine Toyota filter. It's actually from iSyn. And Stuart recommended it to me because the one I was using was like a, uh, a trust ripoff. Hang on, I'll get one if I can. Standard UFO looking things. I'll flash a stock image up on screen. Anyway, so this is a stock, I don't know what they come on, but they come with a little bracket. See that? And it's even got these little notches in it for this little notch when it's mounted. So now it'll face in the correct direction for the thing that you're trying to bolt it into. So the part numbers for these two will be in the description and I'm gonna show you why you want these if you own the Panic ITBs. I want this to be parallel with that, facing that direction. There's no slot, so I'm gonna make one with my Dremel or fake Dremel. What I've done is I've just marked here with a pencil. I need to get another Dremel bit to clean up the inside there. Some little stone wheel, I'm not even sure what. It's a different, different size thing, isn't it? The shank's a different size. Can I just do it by hand? Diamond file, much faster than swapping bits. If I can find that, which I can't see right off the bat. Where's my diamond file gone? Oh crap, I use it for everything, and now I'm not using it for anything because I didn't put it back last time I used it. Unless I could just do it like this. Whoa, 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 flew away. Oh yeah, yeah. That's actually, wait, which one did I do? I think I did that one. I can't even tell. Can you tell which one I did? Was it that one or this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, here's some, yeah, okay, cool. All right, now let's see how this fits in here. I keep losing it. Oh, look at that. Okay, and that's got that lined up now. Why? Why do you recommend this? I'll show you tomorrow. On the Panic ITBs, you'll see that the throttle cable bracket is bolted on there, and it actually has a space at the back to do the same thing, just in case you want to mount it back there. Now those holes just happen to be perfect for this. It's just perfect, it's like it was made for it. This side goes to the vacuum block, and this side goes to the map sensor. So it's just this for me. And now I just have to connect that up to the ECU. I don't know what hose that is, but I don't think it's high quality. Certainly not high enough quality that I'm uh, confident in it. So I wanna redo all of that. Dare I do this, I'm gonna open this up. I don't think I zip tied the hose in there. So I'm just gonna undo this tape here and see if I can pull the hose back through. Uh, this is probably a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't know whether to run the hose through here again to be stealth or just leave it on the outside because it kind of makes more sense to do. Oh, it's coming out, look at that. Hopefully not damaging anything as it's coming. Here we go, look at that, straight out. I don't know if that was damaged or not. I don't know what brand it is. Yeah, it's gonna suck trying to get it out of there, but maybe zip tying it underneath is better than running through with the harness. Is there a way to simply get in here? I don't think there is. I would have done that if it was possible. It might be better to go up over here and drop down rather than going through the front yeah, I think we'll do that. It still means getting it out of here though. I need a 10 mil and I need um, more hours in the day. I hate going in here. Three of those. Oh, what? What? Did one really fall on the ground? 
Oh yeah. Ow. Ooh, the smell of burning. No. No, there's no smell of burning. And what's the likelihood that this has been damaged? There is a, and that might be a pin hole there. Some better hose wouldn't hurt though, would it? Uh, where does this, where does it end, Diane? So the ECU's coming out, yay. Okay, so now I've got the ECU out, but uh, because Link in their infinite wisdom put the map sensor about here, you have to take the cover off to, um, to plug a hose into it, which is dumb. Yeah, we're doing that. Poor design choice. Why couldn't the, like, why couldn't it be designed? It was a plug and play board. Like, why didn't it have, you know? I don't know. I got my new hose installed. The hose is thicker than the old stuff, so I had to file out the case a little bit more, but we're all good. This fits in onto the map sensor quite a bit more snugly than the old, snugly, is that a word? Whatever, is now. Um, than the old hose did. So that's good, happy with that. Let's put this back in. Hope for the last time ever, but unlikely. I really don't like taking the ECU out. Now we need to run this, I guess we'll go there this time. And then it needs to go all the way over there. I don't know. There, done. Done, excellent. Probably shouldn't be doing this with the battery still connected, but we did. Right, feed this into here. Ooh, that's a good fit. That's a good tight fit. Right, now it's just a matter of where, oh where, do I run this? Is there another way? Drill a hole in the box, which I don't want to do. So, no, technically, no, there is no other way. These cutters are absolutely brilliant. Trad. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if I bought them or someone bought them for me. I can't remember, um, which is terrible to say, but these are fantastic. Trad brand. Um, it's terrible to say, but honest. Did I just break that? Yeah, I did. Great. Hope this is easy, but it's not going to be, is it? Oh wait, are we are we threw it already. We might be through the rubber already. Well, that would be. Oh, we are. Look at that. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, let's try and get through this conduit. Oh, got that through. Excellent. And we're through here. Plug that in. Don't use too much of the force, Luke. We can wrap all of this with tape after the fact, once we've figured out where it's going. Does this fit back on? That's on, that's on, that's on, that's on there. Done, boom. Okay, get this onto here. 12 minutes in. Lid goes back on easy. Done. We'll go under that to try to hide it a bit. Give us this day our daily flat GoPro battery. Flat battery a day keeps the filmmaking away. How about that? Right, so while this was flat, I've gone ahead. I've gone ahead. No, that and saying, hey, go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Right, so that's all back together. Yep. Hoses in there, runs up through there, over there, and then over there. Let's take this off so you can see. Through here, up and over, over there, down around the back. Put this back on. Under and around back to my filter. And another flat battery. I am talking these up to six Newton meters. They've got uh, Loctite on them now so hopefully they won't come undone. I also put aviation sealer on all of the surfaces, the face of the ITBs, the back of this, the front of this, the both sides of the spacer and the back of the trumpets to seal it. Why? Um, I don't know, because I'm paranoid. That's probably the best answer I can give you. I don't really think it needs sealing, but I mean, it is now. Also discovered that WD-40 works as a cleaner for this stuff. So that's good. 
just because it doesn't matter if some of this gets into the engine. Just, yeah, works really well at getting it off. I cut this a little bit shorter. Just to deal with my um, OCD.